Thank you. Well, hello everybody. Hello from Alicante. Well, today we are going to focus on using technology in pre-primary. So, just for you to know a little bit about this, very quickly, uh, this technological pedagogical content knowledge is a kind of framework that combines three knowledge areas. As you can see here, three different circles, three different colors. One is the content, that is what we teach, what we have to to do in, in classroom. The pedagogical side is how we do it. And then the technological knowledge is what tools are appropriate for our students. What type of resources can we use then? When working with, um, with children in pre-primary, we know that we have to focus on routines. We have to base our teaching on routines to get us started because routines help to build up children's confidence, they know what to expect, so then they feel ready to learn new things. Uh, but what happens, for example, with class management, we can also make use of the, of the interactive whiteboard just to keep control of the noise level. So it's like get students to know that the board is listening to them. Of course, the board is not listening to them, but they think the aim is that they have to try to keep the board uh, happy. The idea is like the students listen to the board and not to the teacher. You don't have to, you know, keep interrupting the class. We also have games. There are a lot of games available. We're here. I'm showing you some games that you can use with Robin, Daisy and me, for example, that you will, will find. There's one game that I like a lot. This is a tic-tac-toe, like a three in a row or not the crosses. So each time they click, for example, to divide students into two groups, so it's for the whole class, for example, they click on a blue triangle, they will see a picture, and then if they say the work correctly, then they can click on any of the squares of these grids. Okay, what about flashcards? Probably using a lot of flashcards with your students using the interactive whiteboard. Again, what can be done with this? Uh, mainly you have look and listen, and then you know, what else can we do? So, for example, once the students just look and listen to, to the flashcards, the words that they have there, just to revise vocabulary, for example, we divide the students into two groups and we say, for example, pass a secret. So you pass a secret and then the last student head from both groups come out to the front and what they do is, for example, we say, clap your hands, clap, 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 clap your hands, the last student come out to the front, touch the right, flashcard and then clap his hands. So there we are doing listening, it's a group work activity, uh, they're collaborating, just you know, just they're so little and then we're taking comprehension as, as well and just doing the, the actions. What else can we do with interactive whiteboards? We have for example phonics. Uh, for example, just a very simple activity that could be kind of uh, matching, they click on the sound, they listen to the sound, and then they have to recognize, for example, the picture that contains or start with that sound. And then if they click on the right picture, that picture immediately goes under the letter. So in this way, it's a very simple activity just to get us used to focus on what letter sound and what picture, so they're doing kind of matching. Um, there are lots of apps, free apps that you can that you can use. You have, for example, this uh, Lego Movie Maker that is a free app that you can that you can use. Uh, Gymnastic is another um, app to make movies with the students. In any Lego Movie Maker or Gymnastic, uh, you have like lots of uh, pictures for the students to create their own their own videos. Okay, what else can we do? I've been doing this, probably you're familiar with QR codes. They're very simple to create, uh, very simple just to, you know, to do in class. Of course, you have to prepare this material quite in advance for the students to use. This is good activity for the students. For example, I display these uh, QR readers, uh, these codes around the classroom and then they move around the classroom and they what picture they can find and they say the word for example or it can be depending on the type of students that you have you can give them a worksheet with pictures and then they move around the classroom just reading or scanning that QR uh, code 
and to try to find the words that matches the pictures. Anything you need, I will be, you know, very glad to help you and if you need any other ideas or, or whatever. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs>